everyone, this is Uniquely Made Jessica. Welcome to my channel. And today, this will be my very first Fashion Nova haul. And I think I purchased something with Fashion Nova like three, three and a half years ago. But I only purchased like three or four items. And even then, I wasn't really impressed. Most of the stuff didn't fit. So this will be my first time trying Fashion Nova again. And fingers crossed, everything fits. So if you want to see what I got, Please stay tuned. So the first item that I have is this jacket, kind of like a sweater. And it looks like that teddy material. And I think it's called, I think the tag is somewhere on here. I think it's called like call it the warm and fuzzy sweater. I'll have all pictures on the side and links in the description box. And I ain't gonna lie, it smells kind of funny. So after I get done trying all these clothes, all of these is going in the washing machine because this does not smell good. And it feels like it could be kind of warm. I'm not saying that you should wear this when it's like super cold outside, but it was not that cold. I feel like it would be decent. Like I said, it's like this brown color and this is how the material looks. And let me see what size this is because i think i might have got this in a large but let me check yeah it's called the warm and cozy by love tree it it is a size large and you know how do i wash this hand wash do not bleach flat dry no iron so yeah i'm gonna definitely have to wash this by hand to get this smell out and let me say it, <coughs> excuse me i feel like this is pretty decent it has this big neck and whatever so on nice that you're feeling a little chilly and you want it to be cute but it's not like super super frigid i feel like this would be a really good jacket to wear and i just yeah. like it because i think it's a really cute sweater it just I don't like the way this smells. So after I wash this, I should be good. But I'll be back with the next item. So, so this is the next top. And this is the Wanda sweater top. And you don't see my bra, so I apologize for that. And it's black. It's long sleeve. It is kind of like a little see-through. But I can't tell the see-through because... I have a bright bra on or because of the real or just because the material isn't that great. The material is kind of a little more, I guess it's a little see-through and it's cute for my nails. Anyway, I think this is in a size large. Yeah, this is a size large. This is the one, the sweater top and it's really not a sweater top. <laughs> at all. It's not like a thick sweater material. It's just like a regular like, I guess, shirt material. So do not expect this to be like a warm sweater. This is not going to do that. This is basically you can layer this with other things and it could probably go well when I got on right now. And I wore these pants to work today. So just your pretty basic black top nothing too crazy and i'll be back with the next item so i'm back and i'm back with my first pair of pants and this is called the my favorite sweatpants and i think this is a size nine i think i got mostly all the pants in a size nine if that's not the correct size like i said i have a picture on the side and a link in the description box and this is the chocolate color and this is how long it goes on me so it stops right to my ankles and I feel like this is a good like loungy kind of sweatpants not like, it's not like a baggy sweatpants so if you wanted to fit a little looser you could go up a size but I feel like this size works pretty good it's pretty comfortable it's not like really thick but it's good to like wear right in the house and it give you some like ballpark about my sizing and everything. I am 5'4". I'm around one between 
170 and like 175 ish somewhere in that ballpark so I don't really don't know my hip size and everything so sorry about that but I feel like this is pretty you know loose not too tight comfortable you just want to chill in the house watch a couple of movies or you know your period and just want some little pants it's not like super tight or anything like that this is pretty good and I think this came in a set but I just wanted the pants so I think I like the pants and I don't own a lot of chocolate brown stuff so yeah so this is the my favorite sweatpant in the color chocolate and I'm gonna get out this show because I don't feel comfortable with my bra showing this entire so I'm back and I'm paired I'm back with my first pair of jeans and just to let you know the chocolate sweatpants in the previous clip were in a size large. So anyway, this is the Stay Groovy. The Stay Groovy Low Rise Boot Cut Jean. And honestly, I ain't know people who was bringing that low cut jean. Low rise jeans since like the early 2000s. And this is in a size 30, like if your waist is like a 30. And this is how long they are. Like I said, I'm 5'4", so... These are pretty long, so I would definitely have to wear like heels or like some cute boots with it. But it looks like it's pretty, if you don't count like this part, I think it's supposed to give it that like rugged, you know, kind of look, it has like this detail, like on the side and in the back, everything like that. Oh, they got pockets right here, real pockets in the front. It's like a dark blue kind of jean. I like them. I think these are really cute. And whatever, they feel pretty comfortable. They don't feel like super tight. It's just since I'm so short and these are so long, I will always have to wear these with boots. Or maybe get them hemmed up a little bit so I just won't be dragging them on the ground like this but I feel like these are pretty cute these are pretty decent if you're a tall girl these will work out for you pretty good because you got extra length but if you're a short girl like me you're gonna need like something with a heel or a platform or something so your jeans won't be just dragging on the ground oh, excuse me so this is the stay groovy low rise boot cut jean and size 30 and i'll be back to get out of these so i'm back and these jeans are cute but i can't zip them up so see this ain't gonna work and this is the mood for trouble compression stretch skinny jean and this is in a size nine maybe i should have sized up because they have compression jeans like i said this is how it looks I honestly think they're cute and then like in an acid wash like design it's just I can't zip into them and they feel it's like they don't feel that bad put them on it was a bit of a struggle but once I tried to put these babies on it was a wrap oh, oh this was so popped off like I said it's in size 9 and I think it's because of the fact these are compression jeans. I guess they are meant to like suck you in a little more than you expect. But, man. But I'm on a weight loss journey to lose a couple of pounds. So, maybe give or take a couple of months. I lose a little weight, I'll be able to get into these jeans. So, I'm not going to get rid of them because I do like the jeans. Or maybe I'm more like... A really big t-shirt and just wore these around the house I can make it work I don't know but I like the jeans it's just I can't zip them up and can't go out the house if you can't zip up your pants so I'm kind of disappointed but I mean it is what it is it is what it is I mean whatever everything can't work for everybody so yeah, this is the move for trouble, compression, super, not super stretch, stretch skinny jeans. I would say size 
sides up. <laughs> Since I guess they are meant to kind of crush you a little bit, sides up a little bit. So I may have got a size 11, but it might have been too big. Well, I'm going to move some weight. Then I'll be able to get into this. I'll be right back. So I'm back, and these are the Cami Knee Slit Skinny Jeans. Again, in a size 9. And I was able to get into these. And the zipper kind of tries to become undone, like tries to come down a little bit. So I'm just gonna wear a big t-shirt when I wear this one. And this is in the color gray. And as you can see, it has like a knee slit in the front of my knees. These are pretty soft material. I think these are cute. Like I said, if I lost a little bit more weight, I wouldn't have much issue with the zipper trying to have those, but for right now, I can get into them, I can zip them up, I can wear like a large shirt to kind of cover that top part, a longer shirt to cover that top part, and I am perfectly fine, I don't feel like they're like super tight or anything like that, I really like these jeans, and all these clothes I got like right after Christmas, right before New Year, when they had like the end of the year sale. Well, they always have the sales. But so far, I really do like these jeans. And I like the fact they have real pockets. Because you know how they be trying to play us and give women fake pockets, which I don't appreciate. But you know, these got real pockets. And I feel like these are cute. I just wear these on a Saturday and whatever. But <clears throat> yeah, these are the Cami Knee Slit Skinny Jean color gray size 9. So another pair of jeans we go. Okay, back again with another pair of jeans. And this is the favorite trip classic um classic stretch bootcut jean. I think that's what it's called. Yeah. The favorite trip classic stretch bootcut jean. And this is an acid wash blue size 9. It's pretty long. And this is how it looks in like I said, it has pockets, which I can appreciate. <clears throat> the zipper actually zips. Yeah, the zipper actually zips. And I don't know if it's because I'm getting older, but I think I'm starting to find a new appreciation for bootcut jeans. So, I think these are really cute. Like, I like the acid wash. And I never really own acid wash jeans like that, but... It's cute. I just throw on a cute little pair of boots. I got some black boots that I got from Walmart in my closet. I can easily just wear with these so they won't be dragging on the floor. Again, if you're a tall girl, you'll be perfectly fine. If you're short like me, put on a heel, put on a nice little boot. You should be straight. I really like these. I think these are actually pretty darn cute. Like, and I actually don't go too bad with this sweater I got on, so. Hmm. I like these. So, again, this is the favorite trip, classic stretch, bootcut jean, and acid wash. And I'll be. Okay, back again with some more jeans, of course. And this is almost the last pair of jeans. And this is the Booster Ego Super Curvy. No, it is the Boots Your Ego Curvy Super Stretch Skinny Jean. And this is in the color gray size 9. And it makes you look like you got a little something back there. This is how long they are. And because I'm a millennial, I can always appreciate a cute little skinny jean. And even though I feel like these are like comfortable, I didn't really have any difficulty getting into these. Got some stretch because some other jeans had a little less stretch than others, but I feel like this got a decent amount of stretch. Second, so into I like the color and everything. You can either dress these up or dress them down, and I feel like I really like enjoy these jeans. I could probably wear these to work if 
on board at some point, just like a chill kind of day. Like I said, I, I like the, I, I think they were actually pretty darn cute. So yeah, this is the Booster Ego. Kind of be super stretched skinny jean. Size nine, color gray. These actually do got a decent amount of stretch. If you're comfortable, you don't feel like tight, like in like that area you can actually move around with do your thing and whatever. So I'm really okay fashion. I actually like these jeans a lot. I'm gonna actually try to get some more of these because these are actually these make me feel really cute. I, I really enjoy and it's actually kind of fupa friendly if you got them a very small one like I do. Fupa friendly so yeah, I'm gonna get about these right. So back with my last pair of jeans, and this is called the Sipping On Song Skin Jean, size nine, color black, and this is how it looks. They say you can either roll them down, roll them up like they already are right here, or just roll them down. And it really doesn't matter how you style them. I feel like these are cute. These got the rips in them, and I like distressed jeans. Give them a little, a little edge, a little flair to it. And when it comes like little stickers and stuff on them, I feel like these look nice. They don't really make your butt look good, man, but I ain't got much of that anyway, so do with that what you will. And I feel like this is a basic black jean you can wear with an all black outfit you can wear with whatever you want to wear with and you know nothing too fancy nothing too crazy and i like them i think they're pretty cute so yeah that's it with these this is the sipping on some skinny jeans and i don't care what they say i'm always wear my skinny jeans and i got Okay, this is the last item in this fashion overhaul, and this is called Be My Baby Off the Shoulder Dress. And I think it's like in a mustard, it's probably like a mustard yellow, but it's not just straight mustard color yellow. It's like mustard yellow with like, looks like a little gray or black mixed in it. And this is in a, even this is in one size fit all kind of situation. It's so uncomfortable. I have to check, but this is how it looks. So, a little, a little, a little. You feel like your shape wherever you want, it, or if you don't, you know. I took off the bra because I wanted to see how it looked without one since it is kind of like off the shoulder. But I could have kept it on, or you could just wear like a strapless bra with this. But I honestly feel like. This is really cute. You can wear it with some cute little boots and whatever. And like I said, the material ain't really thick. And what is this? Like this kind of design. Like, I know I can think of it in my head, but I don't remember exactly what this is called. It has this kind of design on the sleeves, this part of the neck, and the bottom, the bottom part of this dress. Like I said, this isn't the thickest material, so you will be kind of cold wearing this. So I would suggest wear like a cardigan, a longer coat, something like this. But I think this is really cute. It looks good on me. And you don't really have to wear it in the fall and winter time. You could wear this in the spring. I wouldn't suggest the summer because it might be hot because of the long sleeves. And honestly, I don't know what Fashion Nova's definition of sweater is. It's soft, don't get me wrong. But this is not, to me, sweater material. It's not sweater material. But it's cute nonetheless. Don't get me wrong, it's cute. So, then I said, I'll wear this out to brunch with my girls or whatever. 
if you wanted something that's kind of short, but you don't show too much, you could run with it as a club. I don't really club. You can wear it inside a bar or something. Where? I wouldn't wear this to try. I wouldn't wear this to work in LA. But I think this is pretty cute. But that's it for this Fashion Nova haul. And for my first time shopping at Fashion Nova again in like three years and some change, not too bad. I mostly shop like at Shein, Ross, Room 21, Walmart, places like affordable places like that. And sometimes you hear good or bad things about Fashion Nova. So I was a tad bit skeptical, but I was like, you know what, what the hell, I'm not going to try and see how it looks. And if I don't like it, I'm going to always get a quote to somebody. And I don't think I did too bad. I actually did, did I think I did pretty well. I think I did pretty well. So, if you like what you're seeing, comment down below, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. If you got any suggestions for any other videos, let me know that as well. And I'm going to get out these clothes, wash them, because not all of them really have smells to it, but that first sweater had like a weird smell to it, and I'm this is not for me, dog. But that's about it. I'm about to go and get ready to unwind and relax for the night. And until next time, bye.